Well, Return to Zero is about Maggie and Aaron Royal, who are a successful couple. Everything's going no! right for them. Oh, and they live in Palace Verde, so where nothing can ever go wrong. And uh, anyway, they're, they're expecting their first child, a son. And weeks before the child is due to be born, they lose him in utero. And the film is about how they then deal with that loss and uh, how, what happens to their relationship. One of the things that happens is because Aaron is grieving and Maggie are grieving, they're not necessarily grieving together or in the same way. And like a lot of huge traumas that happen in life, you know, the, the trauma itself reveals all other, all sorts of other little kind of, uh, you know, um, weaknesses in those relationships. So their relationship dissolves, um, and then on a, uh, but before they break up, they take a last kind of save the marriage, last second uh, trip to Vegas, and it's there where they get pregnant with their second child. And so the two of them bond over having the, their second child, which they bring into the world successfully. And in doing so, they've also helped heal their relationship and take it to a new level, so that by the end of the film, you think that they actually have a chance. This is a movie about people that a tragic event happens to and how we respond, how we respond as human beings, as, as people. We respond with wit and humor and dreadful sorrow and agony and we shut down and we open up and we transform. But the brilliance of the writing to me um, was that you have this heavy situation and yet <clears throat> life goes on. The film is inspired by what my wife and I went through when we lost a child at 37 weeks. You know, a lot of people who have been through stillbirth and similar experiences have, um, you know, surrounded this film and really feel that it is authentic to their experience. And I really feel a great responsibility as someone who is helping to make this project. I feel a real responsibility to them to make sure that we get it right. You know, having been through it, I'm just trying to be honest to the emotional truth of the journey of what happens when you lose a child like this. That's been really important from the beginning, and um, I think we're capturing it. This is obviously something that has been missing, uh, a story that helps people understand what the many people, the thousands of people who experience this, what they're really going through. If there's kind of that taboo lifted and people can have an open dialogue, I'm sure, it, it, it would seem to me that, that it would be an easier process for, for people to heal. Maybe it's just the ability to talk about the subject of losing a baby. I mean, the reason that this film is important to me is because it's a story that's never been told. We need to keep telling stories that are hard and we need to find ways of telling them that move people in a good way and in a challenging way.